What's up, race fans? Daniel Blair of Race Day Live on supercrosslive.com. Cooper, I know you get asked the same questions probably a hundred times today, but let's have some fun. What'd you do for Christmas, New Year? I mean, there's so much pressure coming into the race, but let's take it back a few weeks. What'd you do to get through the holidays? Uh, it was nice, a uh, little holiday break. We, uh, we took off Christmas. Both my mom and dad were able to come out here to California um, for, ca for Christmas and uh, even the New Year. So it was, it was nice to see with them and uh, be out here in the nice warm weather, not the, the East Coast snow right now. So that was nice. And uh, yeah, it was pretty relaxing. Obviously, you know, by then all the work was done and we were just more kind of doing a maintenance riding and all that. So it was nice to kind of have a, a little bit of a break on those, those two days and just uh, enjoy time with the fam. As a rider, you're obviously experienced. You've been around now for a few years, but I know every year you're still trying to find a way to get better as a rider. What'd you do this year maybe to, to improve? Corners, jumps, whoops. Is there something that maybe you did that said, hey, I'm gonna make this a weakness in my program, maybe a strength now? Yeah, you know, that's the plan every year is to, to work on your weaknesses. And uh, for me, I just, last year, to be honest, I wasn't prepared. I mean, mentally, physically, uh, bike adjustments, and you know, it showed. So this year, that was our whole game plan. Obviously, I came in hurt, um, so I didn't actually ride till November 6th was my first day back. So. We had a brand new bike this year, and uh, they did a lot of great testing with it. So when I hopped on it, it was uh, we just came up with a game plan and said, "Hey, let's make this thing comfortable for me." And so that was one of the things we really worked on. And then uh, fitness was another. I felt like I, I needed to be in a lot better shape. So me and Swanee worked hard this off season, and yeah, we just worked uh, once again this new start system. I think. Uh, Starts are typically my flaws, so that was something we really worked on, and I and I really liked the great. So uh, you know, I, f I feel like starts are, are holding me back a lot, and I feel like I'm confident in them now. As a 250 rider, you were a West Coast guy, and last year you got your first taste of going east, and even though you had the injury there that took you out of a few weeks, what's it like now that you've done a full season, you've seen both coasts, you kind of know what to expect, you know the discipline of having to be there for four months straight. How different is it now that you know what to expect instead of wondering like, man, how is this going to go? Yeah, it's, it's just a nice comforting feel mentally just knowing, hey, the guys I'm racing, uh, this, the way the series works, you know, the longer main events. For me, I was learning a new team as well. So, yeah, it was a lot to learn last year. And I think, uh, you know, unfortunately, I did get I missed four or five races last year, but I was able to get a taste of the full year and and the grind and what it took and yeah I like it man I, I, I enjoyed going to new places and checking out new stadiums and and riding some rut tracks so yeah it was it was cool to do and like I said this year I think just that that comfort and knowing what to expect has already helped me out tremendously I mean even today my nerves are are calm compared to last year I was I was antsy and and all nervous so yeah it's it's cool to be back here racing again but this year in a much comfortable more environment